it's the front legs like a praying mantis and then the body is like a bee so your guess is as good as mine that thing's fucking creepy man I am I'm videotaping right now Look at how long its wings are. It looks just like a horn out. Its body. And look at it. It's using its... It curls its front legs up and holds them like a praying mantis. It's rather harmful though. Harmless, I meant. Well, it just used its elbows. Because I accidentally had my hand right next to it and it crawled on me and didn't do anything. Didn't bite or sting. So I didn't really give it much of a chance, but when I freaked out about it, it didn't even, like, really care. It just sat there and chilled. You see how it uses its front paws, and it grabs stuff and eats. Now it's using its legs. Look at them crazy things. Holy shit. Where'd it go? There it is. It's the crappiest part about watching something through a camera is that you lose perception. Objects are closer than they appear. Look, see how it tucks its legs in? It only walks in fours. And see, look at it. He's getting close to my finger. He's like, ooh, what is this? No, no, no. You shall not pass. Get away from my fingers. I know you can feel the electricity, but no, don't touch. Oh, its rear doesn't look like it's got a stinger. What it looks like more is like it's uh, a sticker. You see, if you watch the rear end, if I can hold my camera still enough, it looks like it, uh, it's getting closer to me. You need to go away, guy. Yeah. You're cool and all, but... I'm still on iffy terms with you. Hmm. I wish I could get a closer view for you. But you can see its green eyes. It's almost as if it can tell my camera's here, because whenever I get really close with it, that's when it starts like... Uh. Apparently it's drawn to the paint chips, because that's what it looks like it's going for mostly. Do you think it knows that I'm talking about it? <laughs> Could it be an alien? All forms of life are superiorly intelligent, more than to our knowledge.
That's how big it is compared to my finger. And it's on a paint scraper, if you can see. That's the handle. That's my hand. It's cleaning one of its feet. That's what it's doing. It's got its front left paw in its mouth. Yeah. This thing is very interesting, to say the least. It reminds me of a cat cleaning its feet, you know? Look at it, I'm touching it, it doesn't even care, it's just chilling. It's like, meh. Oh, it's like, what the fuck was that? Oh, I'm starting to get the fences there. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I don't want it to fly in my face. Let's see, I got it sketched out. Now it's getting ready. It's like there is something here. I will back away now. Well, little beetle friend, let's see what we have for a reaction. Oh. Do you think they both know they're around each other? Will we see a battle of the bugs? I took a picture once of three different kinds of bees all chilling right next to each other eating pollen one day. I said, man, if bees all can get along together, why the hell can't different humans get along with each other? Well, we're going to see maybe what's going to happen here. I almost feel like being an instigator, but yeah, that little guy can fly, so... I don't want to touch him, he'll fly away. Oh, he flew away. I think this guy's trying to back away because he's thinking that there's something still in front of him.
So, what do you think, guys? It's been 11 minutes. And this guy is very interesting. Almost praying mantis like legs up front. Hornet's body with a cross between a hornet and praying mantis head. And it only walks on four legs instead of six, like most insects. Is this a mantis larvae that we're seeing here? Might be, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Could be a mantis larvae. And then it just colors itself like a hornet, so its predators leave it alone. Because if a predator sees a hornet, by now most of them have made the distinction that, oh shit, I'm going to get hurt if I mess with that thing. Whereas this thing doesn't look like it really likes to fly. It expends too much energy. I imagine those wings will eventually form into a hard shell or fall off. But it could be a different species altogether, I don't know. That's why I'm taking this video. Maybe somebody can help me discover what this is. And I can show people a really crazy cool insect. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Video out.